Okay guys, 200 catfish in this little bucket, 5 gallon bucket. And this is my tank I'm going to try and raise them in. It's uh, 5,000 liters. Here's my water. This is rain water. I think I'll fill the tub about half full. These things are a little acrobatic. They like to jump. The worst thing about a white tub, every speck of dirt, you can see it. That's alright. These things are normally raised in the bog. So. I'll come back. One tub's full. I think I'm just going to uh, leave the bucket there. Let it fill up. I think that'd be the least amount of shock for them. Okay guys, it's raining pretty good again. With the wind, I'm sure I'm going to get wet here. I am under a roof. But okay, I don't know how dirty this bucket is. I've noticed these fish are not the healthiest. The water's a little bit colder. See lots of little ding marks on the side. I assume it's from uh, being so many. There goes the first one. There was a thousand in one box. And stopped again. <laughs> Well, there's a couple with some really good marks on them. So we'll see how this goes. I only wanted a hundred. I think a hundred for this tub would be plenty. Got two hundred. So we'll see. They seem very active. Some of these are about three inches long. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of marks on it. <laughs> They're swimming out, swimming back in the bucket. Look at that. Hi. The fish. In and out. There we go. Beautiful? No. 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 There's enough. But they're uh, Ooh, not, that, not that healthy. See a lot of them have white marks on the side? Look at that one right there. Yeah, I didn't bite together. Yeah, I know. I think it's from just being in the truck. Huh? It's okay, it's okay. Nice, eh? There's some nice ones, yeah. Okay. Funny, funny. Did I leave? Huh? Too much water. I know, I turned it off. See them coming up to get oxygen, huh? But that's normal for these fish. It's not because there's no oxygen in the water. It's because these things can live out of out of out of the water. That's the problem with them in my lake. This time of year when it's raining, they walk away. <laughs> they just get up and leave. Still pretty cool, huh? I get some food for them. We'll have some fun with these. Okay, 24 hours. Only thing they've eaten so far is uh, goldfish food. I got some real food for them now. See the little billets? And you see the color of the water? Not clear anymore. Didn't take long. Over here, over here. Now. Yeah. 
So far so good. We've had no dead ones. There we go, there we go, there we go. Don't feed that no. There's a few on the bottom that didn't come up yet. Wow, well, that food's almost gone already. I don't know how much to give them. <laughs> Crazy fish. They might get Good. Cool, huh? I put the duckweed in there, what I call duckweed. It seems like they were nibbling at it. I don't know if they were eating it or not. And I don't really care if they do eat it or not. This is just a good place to grow it for the ducks. This is cool, huh? This is cool. If the water turned cloudy with just a little bit of goldfish food, by tomorrow we won't be able to see the bottom. Plan to use this water to water the garden. Hopefully, so that'll be good, nutrient-rich water straight into the garden. Right where this tank is sitting, to get sun only in the morning and as uh, we get later into the year probably won't get sun at all or very little and here the goats kind of cool huh It'll be fun once they get big. You see this one floating by right here? Looks like he's dead, huh? Not just... <laughs> he's anything but dead. They do that. They do it on the top of the water, they do it on the bottom. They just float straight up and down. Looks like they're dead or about to die. But they're not, they're just relaxing. Okay, the question that's gonna come the most, how much? These fish cost one baht each. I bought uh, 200 of them, so that's 200 baht. That's what? six dollars so six dollars for all these fish and then the food I think that's one kilo but it might not be I don't know about the weight we have five bags like this for 100 baht so three dollars so nine dollars we should uh, we won't finish them you'll probably need more food but yeah I'd say twelve or fifteen dollars and we will have a lot of a lot of fresh fish. These guys are nice on the barbecue, huh? It's quite uh, quite popular the way they sell them here on the on the streets is on the bamboo skewer and barbecue. They only get to about a foot long, or the ones that the cell are only about a foot, maybe 14 inches long. They don't get huge. But we'll see. It's going to be a, another interesting adventure.
Okay guys, this is uh, two weeks to the day that I've had the fish. Just look at him. I don't know the name of this plant, but it's good to eat. Eat them many times. Eat the, eat these green leaves. And it grows on the lakes. This actually came from uh, from our farm. I put this in here like five minutes ago. The fish hasn't stopped. The catfish are eating it. Look at that. I don't know if the camera's picking up the sound, but you can hear them chewing. Fish are all looking good. We haven't had any loss at all. Knock on wood. Look at them, they're crazy. I gave them some grasshoppers yesterday. Wow, that created a feeding frenzy. Look at that, and they come right out of the water. The only problem with putting stuff like this in there, it makes the water dirty even quicker. Right now I've got a chance to water every three days. Oh, I caught the smallest one there. Wow, I didn't realize there was any that small. This net, net has got no depth to it. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Let's see. And, uh, that fish is a little bit longer than my finger. But the first one I took out was really short. I didn't realize it was any that small. Okay, fishy, 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 fishy. Now I know a lot of people are going to be, where's the air stone, where's the circulation, where's the oxygen? These are catfish, they breathe oxygen like us. How that works, I have no idea. But you can see them come up and get air. If I back out, maybe you can see if you do it now. See that one right there? Looks like he's sleeping. Nice going. It's cool when you look in there and there's a hundred a hundred fish just bobbing on the top of the water with their nose sticking out. You see? Same spot. Just drifting in the breeze. <laughs> That's how they relax. Put a solar light in. A little light right there. And this piece of bamboo used to be a table for the goats. Put it over the top to block some of the sun in the mornings. 
and it makes a nice little table to put my stuff and this light lights the tub up the idea is that to bring in bugs and the fish can eat the bugs haven't seen a lot of bugs but it keeps the fish very busy at night that's for sure okay fishies come on Thank you. There they are. They're like vultures. Vultures of the ocean or the lake. Okay guys, so that's it. Two week update. Water is nice and dirty. It needs to be changed again. I take this water out. Use it to water the garden. And give them fresh rainwater. They're eating this stuff. It's just like foam. I don't know. It's like a natural foam that's wrapped around. That's what they're eating. But they're growing good. I think they are. Best thing. We haven't had any loss. And it's fun. <laughs> it's like a giant fish tank. Or an overpopulated fish tank.